Welcome to this lesson. Andre and our staff have combed through our best lectures, speeches, and presentations to bring you today's principle. As you watch these lessons, keep in mind how you might best apply the morals, wisdom, and principles in your ordinary daily activities. We know that what we practice and support with intention, we can improve on. Leadership and diversity advocacy requires that we practice both mentally and in the demonstration of our values. Take this time to reflect on your behaviors, build on your strengths, and minimize your areas of weakness. Remember, we look forward to seeing who you become. Andre and our team at AM Horizons will start you on this journey now. There is dignity and honor in being human. Oftentimes when we talk about diversity, we often talk about it in very esoteric ways. We talk about it in very emotional ways. But typically we never talk about what is the core and the root of what we currently call diversity. So what is dignity? Dignity implies that there is a self-pride as well as a pride that is exuded and offer to other people. So as a part of diversity, there is dignity. There is also honor. Oftentimes, people confuse honor with, uh, with respect. But honor is respecting at a very high level. Dignity, honor, and respect. There is dignity and honor in being human. What does it mean to be? None of us have done anything to be here on this planet. So we're not more worthy or less worthy than anyone else. We're just here to learn about how to be humans. And lastly, there is dignity and honor in being human. What does it mean to be human? Well, if we look up in the dictionary, we find something very interesting. That there are two definitions for the word human. One being the noun, uh, having thumbs, having a big brain and walking on two legs, human. But there's also the adjective of being human that describes how we should exist, the things we should do, the ways in which we should interact with each other. There is dignity and honor in being human. So how is it that this makes me a thug, but this makes me acceptable? A lot of times when we're working with stereotypes and we're working with bigotry or we're working with prejudice, people have to recognize what's in them already, what they've learned from their social groups, what they've learned from society, what they've uh, learned from their family groups. Both the said and the unsaid are extremely important to, to, to recognize. And so these trainings that we're offering around bigotry, prejudice, and discrimination are designed to help people look at their own stuff as a way or a method to increase their understanding of themselves first and then of the other. And so, you know, uh, if you've ever written on an airplane, you, you, you've been a passenger, one of the things that the staff says, the, the, the stewards and stewardesses say, is put your mask on first before you try to help someone else. And so these trainings are really geared for you to increase your your power and your influence in your own circles of influence. Do your homework, 
right? Um, oftentimes when I'm doing trainings, I, I give examples from my personal experience, things that I have done or I have found effective. And people say, well, what if I did that? How, you know, how would it turn out if I did that? And that's not what we're asking. These, these training opportunities are asking you within your own sphere of influence, how is it that you can be effective in, in teaching and in learning about the other and in standing in the gap? Being a gatekeeper, if you will, for many people that you'll run into that will necessarily not necessarily know what uh, what transpired because you stood up for them, right? Um, wh wh what I know is that for many of you, there are battles that you can fight on my behalf that I'll never know exist, and hopefully, you understand that the same is happening on this end. That there are ways of being that I will, um, I will defend and I will fight for because we're all in this together. We are human beings, not isolated from one another, but connected in, um, and important to one another. So um, please take this opportunity to, uh, to select a training that, that works best for you. We look forward to, to working with you. And, and no, this is a, a limited quantity of, of course, so we won't be offering these courses at this particular, at this particular price uh, forever. So thank you for being one of those select individuals to, to even get this email. And, uh, and we look forward to, to working with you and look forward to seeing who you become. My name is Andre Cohen. I can be reached at andrecohen.com. Um, I think you'll see the, the contact information on the bottom. Um, you can even call me at 651-998-9376. Or you can see us online at organizationallift.org. And um, I look forward to seeing who you become. Thanks. Have a good day. Bye. Thinking about the principle. Now that you have viewed today's principle, we would like for you to reflect on those concepts by responding to these questions. Question number one. What do you believe was the core message in this lesson? Question number two. What principles were addressed? Question number three. How might you apply these principles to your life? Question number four. What might be the impact on others if you use these principles? As you reflect on these questions, write your responses down in your journal. Rewatch these principles and watch your life unfold in amazing ways. At AM Horizons Training Group, we look forward to seeing who you become. Brought to you by amhorizons.com and organizationallift.org. That is amhorizons.com and organizationallift.org. this problem. Big problem. I really, really needed a good school. And I kept searching and searching. Ah, there are so many choices. It's really hard to find one that has all the things on my list. But I finally did it. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. If you were looking for one as well, look no further. Here's a really good one. Just use mine. Use mine. I'm very satisfied. Definitely recommend. Problem gone. Thank you. So cultural competence, um, it, it's very clear that our world is, is developing in astronomical ways, that the, the need for a sense of cultural competence to, to both adapt to changing demographics, to look at emerging markets, to become critical in our way to better serve our clients. Uh, is absolutely necessary. I mean, if we if we look at our workplaces, many of our workplaces barely, if at all, look like the people that we serve. I mean, if you look, if you go from you know governments to nonprofits, you go to um, you know urban areas, even versus rural areas. Uh, it, it very many times, particularly in rural areas, the the staff are made up of college educated folks who may not necessarily remember or know what it's like to to go through some of the struggles that uh, people who 
and just working class folks have have endured. And so this the sense of cultural competence, this need to to understand the other is more important now than it's ever been. And so we will be offering a number of training opportunities that will allow people to engage in those critical conversations in some very unique and dynamic ways. However, I, I will also say that the, the, the things that we will cover do not make the individuals unique in that uh, experience because, you know, whether you, you come from a different culture, whether you come from an urban background or a rural background, or you come from, you know, um, kind of upper class, middle class, lower class, we're all trying to experience this humanity together. And so we do that in very different ways. And those ways that we we do those things differently, we call culture. And so that cultural competence becomes extremely important. And so through these sets of classes, through the, uh, the methodologies that we'll be using, you can increase what you know about others. And I particularly like the the, the conversations around how do I become more effective more than just learning about uh, someone. So um, please take advantage of these uh, these opportunities. We, we won't be offering them um, this way for very long, but there'll be other opportunities that will come along. So uh, please take the, the, the time. And, and if there's something that you need that you don't see, please feel free to contact me. Uh, my name is Andre Cohen, and I can be reached at uh, andrecohen.com or organizationallift.org, or you can even reach me by phone at 651-998-9376, and that is in the United States, so uh, make sure you add that um, that additional code to that. And uh, I, I want to say we look forward to working with you, and we are so excited to see who it is that you become. My name is Andre, and I'll see you next time. Thinking about the principle. Now that you have viewed today's principle, we would like for you to reflect on those concepts by responding to these questions. Question number one. What do you believe was the core message in this lesson? Question number two. What principles were addressed? Question number three. How might you apply these principles to your life? Question number four. What might be the impact on others if you use these principles? As you reflect on these questions, write your responses down in your journal. Rewatch these principles and watch your life unfold in amazing ways. At AM Horizons Training Group, we look forward to seeing who you become. Brought to you by amhorizons.com and organizationallift.org. That is amhorizons.com and organizationallift.org. When I look at training opportunities, I am always dismayed either by online courses or direct workshops that I attend because it, it seems as though they miss opportunities to really engage uh, participants. And so one of the things that we try to offer in, in our particular training sessions are you know, not only videos, talking heads, but uh, journals. We, we try to get the, the student involved in the learning process. And so we're offering a number of, of seats to some of, um, some of you great folks that uh, have worked with us in the past. And if you haven't worked with us in the past, we look forward to a new relationship with you. And so we are in the process of developing 
or offering these seats to a number of our courses. And so at this particular price point, um, we, we can offer these only to kind of our select folks. And because you're receiving this particular message, you're one of our select folks. And know that um, as we move forward, this price point won't be available to, uh, to everyone. And so if you're interested in doing some growth and some development, if you have tr troubled employees, if you have um, some folks that you're you're struggling with, and you you feel like these are people that we can grow, these these are people, these are employees, these are team members that I have that we can actually grow and make some headway with, feel free to contact us. Um, and if you're trying to figure out how to get people to go, we can also be helpful with that because our, our trainings are really designed to encourage and to um, s secure that, it, that employees and team members are able to produce in ways that are, that are helpful. And when they're not, we, we do a really good job of helping to identify those shortcomings in order to help them do some corrective actions. And someone asked me, they said, well, Andre, your, your trainings... Um, a part of your livelihood comes from your trainings being effective, and so you would wouldn't you suggest that you, um, even advertising or talking about your services is, is self serving? And I would say um, absolutely and unequivocally yes, yes. So the the, the stuff is uh, self serving. These advertising tools that we use are self serving, but I would also challenge that our stuff is effective and our stuff does change lives and change minds and more importantly it helps individuals um, assess their own behavior and determine how they can be more effective. Um, the only guarantee is that if your folks, only guarantee I can offer is if your folks go through our training and they don't think differently and they don't start to behave differently, we will give them another training for absolutely free at no cost. And so, you know, when we try to talk about those things those are in, in critical pieces but know that the the, the 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 price point that we have right now for these classes is not going to last very long and so I, um, I encourage you um, to to reach out to us um, if there's some other things we can do let us know my name is Andre Cohen you can reach me at um, uh, 651-998-9376 or you can reach us online at uh, amhorizons.com or um, AndreCohen.com or yeah, I give you my number, right? 651-998-9376. All right, cool. So I look forward to hearing from you and we look forward to seeing who you become. This is Andre and I will see you next time. All right, bye. Okay, Andre was telling the truth. I got it together. Let's get back to the lesson. I don't know about you, but I'm tired of uh, going to presentations, going to conferences, where people are actually using that time to maximize the inefficiencies in my own work. Well, what I mean by that is that uh, oftentimes when I go to these trainings that they're offering suggestions or solutions that I already know or things that I already do. I, I just need some help in trying to implement them. And so what, it, what I'd suggest is if you look at our, our current offerings, our current package, what you'll notice is that we provide you opportunities to expand your learning and expand the growth or multiply what you're already doing. And so through our training sessions, um, we extend your ability to be effective in, in the work that you do. And so as you look at these training packages, what you'll see is an, a number of areas uh, where you can use your own pieces paired with ours to extend your learning. And so this online learning platform that we're offering, um, I have to say these, the, these seats are limited and we'll, we'll try our best to make sure that everyone gets access to these. Um, however, if you happen to not be able to get, get in at this, at this particular price point and you want some, uh, or, or you have a larger group than what we're offering, uh, feel free to contact me. Um, 
I, uh, I can be reached at andrecohen.com um, or organizationallift.org, or you can, uh, you can call me directly at 651-998-9376, or uh, hit me on email at andre at amhorizons.com. And so we're, we're putting together the, these packages in conjunction with you to make sure that we extend your ability to be effective as a leader and as a trainer in your organization. Um, we know that uh, knowledge liberates power. And so uh, we want to make sure that we give you the tools necessary to enable your workforce to become more effective. And um, and so we look forward to, to being helpful in that process. Again, my name is Andre Cohen, and we look forward to seeing who you become. Have a great day. Thinking about the principle. Now that you have viewed today's principle, we would like for you to reflect on those concepts by responding to these questions. Question number one. What do you believe was the core message in this lesson? Question number two. What principles were addressed? Question number three. How might you apply these principles to your life? Question number four. What might be the impact on others if you use these principles? As you reflect on these questions, write your responses down in your journal. Rewatch these principles and watch your life unfold in amazing ways. At AM Horizons Training Group, we look forward to seeing who you become. Brought to you by amhorizons.com and organizationallift.org. That is amhorizons.com and organizationallift.org. So when we say training, what do you hear? Uh, all too often when I think about training, I think about boring lectures. I think about people with um, 40 pages of PowerPoint presentation who don't make the assumption that I can read for myself. And so they, they read to me their PowerPoint presentation. Drives me crazy. Well, I, what I'll suggest to you is that there's a better way. There's a different way. There's a, a more effective way to not only do presentations, uh, but also categorize and and um, and measure the effectiveness of those presentations. And so, um, through this particular set of courses that you'll see offered here, you will be able to to track your employees. Uh, performance in in our particular trainings, uh, they will pass a a final exam that will come with a certificate that kind of tells what their grade was, what their partition participation rate was with the class, and you have the satisfaction of knowing that they can do this on their own time. So they don't have to necessarily use company time to do it. Um, it's an open access process, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and your employee can be um, trained on some of those most critical things. Now, we focus a lot of our stuff on customer service, on um, how to deal with cultures and how to deal with difficult employees, but we also have a lot of empowerment pieces as well, and you'll see that as you explore um, both our, our website and our uh, educational portal. So um, we encourage you to to take advantage of this particular opportunity. Um, there will be a limited 
number of, of tickets and seats available for these uh, online courses, and so we want to make sure that we're is most uh, that we give you the the number of seats that that you need. And if you are looking at your organization and you're saying, you know what, we need more seats than what are offered on this on this site, give me a, give contact me, and we'll we'll make it happen uh, because it's important that you get the the services that your employees get the the confidence and that the knowledge is shared so that they can become more productive in your your industry so um if you have any questions you can contact me at andre at amhorizons.com or you can reach me at 651-998-9376 or just check us out on our website andrecohen.com or organizationallift.org and we look forward to seeing who you become happy hunting Thinking about the principle. Now that you have viewed today's principle, we would like for you to reflect on those concepts by responding to these questions. Question number one. What do you believe was the core message in this lesson? Question number two. What principles were addressed? Question number three. How might you apply these principles to your life? Question number four. What might be the impact on others if you use these principles? As you reflect on these questions, write your responses down in your journal. Rewatch these principles and watch your life unfold in amazing ways. At AM Horizons Training Group, we look forward to seeing who you become. Brought to you by amhorizons.com and organizationallift.org. That is amhorizons.com and organizationallift.org. I'm Andre Cohen. I just want to say thank you so much for joining us. And what you'll find in these particular uh, sales are opportunities to really advance the learning of your organization and the organ and um, individuals as well. So the 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 critical advantage that we offer is that we have uh, staff who um, are in your field, who understand, know the, the kind of ins and outs, the, the written, as well as the, the kind of culture of your organizations. Uh, two is that we take out the excuses by having online training and opportunities for folks 24-7 um, and, and so if you have a person who works third shift or first shift or, 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 or second shift, you want to be able to make sure that they get the same information as the other folks on those other shifts. And so this, our, our training platform allows that to happen. And then lastly, you get to measure the success of your, uh, of your, uh, of the, the, your staff, right? So you get to be the one to, um, know for a fact that given the final exams, given the activities, and given the certificate of completion that they've received through our programs, that they have, in, in fact, gone through um, a, a rigorous process that is not time all time consuming. And so you know those things about our our program. And if you don't know, you should ask someone or uh, or take this opportunity to experience one of our trainings. And so I want to say thank you so much for just thinking about the, this training and know that at, at this price point, 
they're going to sell out. And so we have uh, some limited qualities available to folks uh, for those classes. And um, at this price point, you may be able to select one of our, our mini classes for your organization. And if you don't see one that particularly pertains to you or, or your organization, feel free to contact me. Um, um, contact me at andre at amhorizons.com or you can go directly to our website, um, organizationallift.org or uh, andrecohen.com. So you can reach directly out to me and, um, and make those connections. So we look forward to seeing who you become. Thanks for your time. All right. Happy hunting. Thinking about the principle. Now that you have viewed today's principle, we would like for you to reflect on those concepts by responding to these questions. Question number one. What do you believe was the core message in this lesson? Question number two. What principles were addressed? Question number three. How might you apply these principles to your life? Question number four. What might be the impact on others if you use these principles? As you reflect on these questions, write your responses down in your journal. Rewatch these principles and watch your life unfold in amazing ways. At AM Horizons Training Group, we look forward to seeing who you become. Brought to you by amhorizons.com and organizationallift.org. That is amhorizons.com and organizationallift.org. I just want to say thank you for joining us here at AM Horizons Training Group. If you have any other questions, feel free to email us and you can reach me at andre at amhorizons.com or you can um, give us a call at 651-998-9376. We look forward to helping you nurture your seeds of change.